Hello everyone, Akars here. Today we'll continue working on my small side project called Zaris. If you haven't seen my previous videos about it, then go and check them out, they're really cool. We're still trying to finish this game as quickly as possible, so let's get started. First off, I added a new type of enemy. I call him Shooter, cause he shoots stuff at you. It is supposed to be an easy and most common enemy, so new players can figure out how to play the game before being completely demolished by a walker jumping on their head. I started with creating this simple model of a hovering robot in Blender, and then I brought it to Unreal. But it seemed a little too static. Luckily, I found a relatively simple solution to it. I'm using this 1D procedural noise notes to add some idle movement to my robot, and I think it looks really cool. Then I gave it some behavior. Basically, I wanted it to circle around the player and shoot with these rather slow bullets. Later, I decided to just make it keep distance from the player and shoot, because I couldn't figure out a good way to make it move in circles. Yeah. But anyway, it still looks cool, and the fight with it is certainly easy enough, so I say mission success. Oh, did I say mission? If you remember, in my last video I said that I was going to add some procedurally generated missions to give the player a clear objective, so yeah, let's do this! First, I created a base mission class, which will be apparent to all of our missions. It's just an actor with some functions and a few variables. Then I implemented two actual types of missions, collection and hunting. The type of the mission is picked randomly at the start of each day, then it generates the context depending on the type. If it's a collection mission, then it will task you with bringing some number of items of a certain type, and if it's a hunting mission, then you will need to hunt down a few machines in a specific location. These missions can be very repetitive, but they're here just to give players some direction, a hint on what he's supposed to do. I display mission's objective in the top of the inventory menu, but it's still kinda hard to find out where you should go. And this is where Hunter Instinct mechanic comes handy. In the previous episode, I said that we can use it to display some markers to simplify navigation. And this is exactly what I've done here. Now, if you have an active mission, when you use your Hunter Instinct, you will see this rather cool pillow of red light, marking the spot where you're supposed to go. When you do what it asks you to do, you will get 1000 reputations, so it should be worth your time. All in all, this mission system seems to be what I wanted it to be, so I will leave it like this for now, at least until I add side missions. Right now we have some other means of importance, like this for example. It is supposed to be a camp, but it's still just a rock standing in the middle of nowhere, which is totally not cool. I modeled a few simple essence and placed them all over the place, but it still seems to look rather dull. But at least it's better than it was before. I'll definitely go back to this rather soon. Another thing is the mountains biome. It still looks very similar to plains and forest, which isn't very cool. So I added these simple spruce trees. They don't look very good when you look at them from afar, but we will fix this later. I also changed the color of grass in this biome to something colder to amplify the effect. And now this biome really stands out and I like it. Last but not least, I finally added Lin into the character. This is a small change, but look how much difference it makes to the character feel. Before this, Tony looked very natural and dull, but now it looks so spicy and satisfying that I really enjoy just running in circles now. This is how much difference it makes. So, for the past few videos, I have been saying that I want to finish this game this or next episode, and I really plan to do it. But then this guy popped out of nowhere and gave me a rather cool idea on the game's lore. And guess what? I got fired up for this project once again. Guess I'll make a few more videos about Zaris before going back to Exolan. We're still doing a demo version, but I want to develop the universe here a bit and add some hints for the story. So stay tuned, we've got some really cool stuff in front of us. Alright then, see you next time, bye!